Well, good Wednesday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you and you've had a good night's rest. You're ready to face the day. I'm going to be reading from the book of Acts. Chapter 9 of the book of Acts, the conversion of Paul. And Saul, yet breathing out threatenings and slaughter against the disciples of the Lord, went unto the high priest and desired of him letters to Damascus, to the synagogues, that he may, if he found any of this way, whether they were men or women, that he may bring them bound unto Jerusalem. And of course, this way, and I would ask you that question, are you of this way? Uh, but the way they were talking about were followers of Christ. They called it the way, uh, when you look into that. And as he journeyed, he came near Damascus, and suddenly there shined round about him a light from heaven. And he fell to the earth and heard a voice saying unto him, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? And he said, Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus, whom thou persecutest. It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. And he, trembling and astonished, said, Lord, what wilt thou have me to do? And the Lord said unto him, Arise, and go into the city, and it shall be told there what thou must do. And the men which journeyed with him stood speechless, hearing a voice, but seeing no man. Of course, we know the rest of the story. Uh, he gets to his feet. He, of course, is then uh, led uh, to Damascus. Uh, to the home of Ananias, who had seen in a vision the Lord saying to him, Arise and go to the street that's called Straight, um, and uh, in the house of Judas, to look for one Saul of Tarsus, for he is praying. And Ananias said, Whoa, wait a minute. I've heard of this fella. Well, what I want to point out to you uh, today is uh, what an experience it was uh, for Saul of Tarsus. There is a um, slight, um, I don't know, disagreement, argument, uh, if you would, in in um, interpretation of the scripture. Some said that uh, Saul and Paul, it was the same name. There was a confusion in the writing of it. Some say that uh, that just showed that there was a change in his name after he was converted from Saul to Paul, that God changed his name, uh, just like he did uh, Abram to Abraham. Um, I suppose you can think what you want about that. You can read and you can study uh, books outside of the Word of God and you can find different things that will tell you uh, different stories about it, different ideas. But nevertheless, we know uh, if his name would have remained Saul or Paul or if he would have been called Jack or John or whatever, we know there was a change more than just his name. There was a change in him. Um, and that's what I would ask you today. Have you examined your life to see if there's been a change in you as well? I don't believe that any of us come to the Lord without him drawing us. And that's what's happening here. Um, Saul of Tarsus, here he is. He's on his way to get letters, to put more people to death who are followers of Christ. And this very Christ calls out to him, why do you persecute me? Paul's like, Lord, who are you? Now, wouldn't you think he would know who he was if he knew what he was doing? He knew who he was persecuting. But this is more than just hearsay. Now, this is a run-in, if you will, um, with the Lord. Hopefully, you've had a run-in with the Lord. I said the other night at church, hopefully, you ran head on into him. And he has changed your life. In 2014, living in uh, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, uh, being a hospice chaplain, they sent me to a little area out, out of Conway. And as I went out to this little area out of Conway, there was a little woman that had been a midwife. She told me how many children she had delivered. A little African-American woman 
And, uh, you know, going into her home is a little different. Her style of music from her church and her growing up and being a uh, hundred and two years old at the time. Uh, she was, of course, so she was half my life as old and her songs, some of them were different. She did know Amazing Grace and things like that, of course, but she taught me a song and she would sing it. But then she said, I want you to play your guitar to it. So this is it. Now I have heard other versions of it since, but this is the way she taught it to me. And these were the words she taught me. So it was requested the other day by someone who heard me do it before that I do it again. So I'll give it a shot. Um, speaking of Paul hearing a voice and seeing no one, that's what this talks about as well. change in this life and trying to change about ourselves but no matter how much we change we can never save ourselves and make us fit for heaven but we thank you for the change that takes place when we answer the call to come to you for salvation we love you we thank you in jesus name amen god bless you folks see you thursday